Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on various aspects of data visual application. In this demo, we are going to cover the last and the final uh, topic, how to fail over from primary to secondary and how to fail back from secondary to primary. But before we start with this demo, uh, if you have not seen my recent blog on the database application topic, all the parts, I would recommend you to please have a look because I have captured lots of detail over there. Uh, I will put the link of the blogs and the related blogs in the description of this videos and hopefully that, that will help you to directly move to the blogs and see all the details. So let's start with the demo. So for this demo, I will go on my primary account and I will set up my context. And if you are following my uh, blog, uh, you know that I have already created a database, database for replication, uh, which is on the primary account. And this is having one source schema where I have all the tables and the views which I have created as part of previous uh, demo. So in this demo, we will show you how to uh, fail over to secondary account from primary account and then the primary account will become read only and secondary account will become read write and then we will do the refresh on the primary account which was originally uh, the primary account so we will do the refresh there from secondary account and then we will again fall back because uh, once your issue is resolved on the primary site you might uh, want to come back to the original uh, setup so we will fall back and we'll make the original primary account as primary account and make the secondary account as secondary. So that's the entire uh, understanding and uh, you will get this detail uh, after this demo. So you will understand all the details like what I am telling. But uh, let me go and see one of the demo uh, before there was one diagram. OK, so this diagram I wanted to show you uh, what do we mean by the failover and the fail back. So here you can understand this one part is like uh, this is our primary account. You can see the organization name dot uh, account name and this is my uh, secondary account. Basically, this is my secondary account. But the moment I will do the failover, this secondary account will become the primary account. As you can see, the arrow is coming from this to this. This is the database failover I will do. And then you will see this is the this primary uh, account will become the secondary account and the database will become read only. So you can see the gray out uh, database uh, diagram over here. And then the secondary account, which was earlier secondary, will become the primary account after failover and it will become the read write. And you can see the direction of the arrow is from secondary account to primary account. So you can see that uh, replication will start from this database to this database now. And you will not able to do anything on the read only. And then we will again do the fail back. And in that case, we will again uh, set up and come back to the original situation. So assuming that our issue with the primary site has been resolved and now we want to come back to the, our original setup and then we will do the fail back. So let's start with the demo. So for this demo, uh, we will first go on the secondary account. Uh, we'll set up the rep, uh, context. So you can see that my context is set up and I will also set up my uh, schema, which I think I missed over here. So to do the failover, it's very simple. I will go onto the secondary account, uh, whichever secondary account I want to make the uh, database as primary. So I will just go and say alter database, database name, and then primary. That's it. Once I do this, uh, my this database will become primary and my earlier original primary will become the secondary. But before doing that, I just wanted to show you this, how you will understand which is primary, which is secondary. So basically, if I just remove this part, if you go here, you will see that is primary. There is a column called is primary, which is true in case of my primary account, which is an original primary account and which is false for the secondary account, which is my current account. Right. So after doing the primary uh, alter database and making this primary, this will switch over and now secondary will become primary uh, true and uh, primary account uh, original primary account will become false. So let's see that. So once I do that, uh, so what happened? Alter database. The account is not authorized to host primary uh, replica. All right. So I missed one part. 
sorry about that so before going uh, before enabling the uh, failover you have to enable the account for failover which i missed uh, so let's do that so first we will see the replication account so you will see like we have already seen that these are the three account where we have enabled the replication and if you see the replication database so these are the database where we are currently doing the replication this is my primary and this is my secondary so now to enable the replicate failover you have to first enable the database for the failover so by default you can't do the failover uh, you can do the replication like we did earlier the replication we have enabled the database for replication for failover as well we have to enable the account for uh, or the database for the failover so here i'm just going to do the same thing i'm just going to do the enable failover for the account for both the account So you, you can see that it has been enabled now and now if I go here and uh, let's see the so replication database first. So here if I go here you will see that replication allowed to this this account and then failover account is for the secondary and the primary. Now if I go on the secondary account you will see that if I do the alter database replication database for replication primary now it's successfully completed earlier it was not successfully completed so now if i say show replication database now you can see that my primary account is no more primary my secondary account is now primary so that is one thing which i wanted to show you now if i say like uh, i wanted to do anything like if i do wanted to do the refresh generally what we, we were doing earlier because this was secondary this will error out this will say like this is primary replica and you cannot refresh this so what we can do is we can go here and we can refresh the sec primary account now so if i go and refresh you will see that the replication or uh, the refresh will happen over here and it will complete successfully so what does this mean is this means is like now we are doing the replication refresh from secondary account to primary account so but the label has been switched now the secondary account become the primary and the primary account original primary account become the secondary so this is read only so let's go back what do you mean by the read only is like say example i wanted to um i want to do anything like um what can i do okay let me just copy one uh, data where i i will just insert some record from here i just try to insert one record on employee table let me just copy this statement from here so to 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 just let me copy this one and we'll go here and i will just try to insert the data over here and i will get an error here database for application is read only secondary database and cannot be modified so now you understand what i mean by that the table will get switched over now the primary account original primary account become the secondary and become the read only and the secondary uh, which was originally secondary now become the primary so i can refresh this but i can't do any modification on the original primary account and now i can modify whatever i want over here and refresh it to the primary account but i don't want to do that um, uh, rather now i will show you how i will do the failover so the failover is the same as i did the failover in the secondary account so i will come here and i will do the sorry fail not failover fail back so basically i will come on the my primary account and assuming that all the issue which was there is resolved and now i will want my original setup back so what i will do i will just go here and do the alter database database name and primary and if i go here and do the show replication database so now you will see the detail is again my primary account the original primary account become the primary and now secondary is again read only so that's uh, that is what uh, we wanted or intended to cover in this demo and uh, hopefully you like this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos like uh, and uh, subscribe and follow on medium blog